In this video, we are going to look at some addition reactions within organic chemistry. So what is an addition reaction? Well, firstly, it occurs with only unsaturated hydrocarbons. If you're not sure about what the word unsaturated means, it simply means compounds that have either a double or triple bond. So these addition reactions are going to occur where we have these multibonds, where we have these double and triple bonds occurring. And here's just a general picture. So we've got a compound that has, this one has a double bond. We're going to be adding it together with compound XY. And you'll notice that the double bond is gone, you know, with a single bond. And uh, X is on one side, Y is on the other. So let's take a look at an example here. So write an addition reaction for ethene and bromine gas. So there is ethene and there is bromine gas. So what's going to happen in this reaction is... Our double bond is going to be gone. We're going to end up with a single bond, and we're then going to end up with one bromine on either side. Now, in terms of naming these, we started with ethene. We combine that with bromine gas. Now, what we've got here is we've got, this is our first carbon. This is our second carbon, or vice versa. It'll work either way. Uh, we have bromines on both of those. So we're going to call this a 1,2-dibromoethane. Remember, this is now an ethane. It's only got single bonds. Example two, write a, uh, an equation to represent the addition reaction between propene, so that has three carbons in a double bond, and hydrobromic acid. All right, so here's essentially what we're going to be doing. So what's going to happen is there are actually two different outcomes because we could put the hydrogen on that carbon and the bromine on that carbon, uh, meaning we'd have the bromine in the second spot, or you could flip it around and you could have the bromine in the first spot. So there are actually two acceptable outcomes for this reaction, and there they are. So again, in this one here, we've got the hydrogen and the bromine on the second carbon. And for this one, we've just flipped them around, and now we have the bromine on the first carbon.